Hi, welcome back to the garden. Well, it is time to prune our uh, pomegranate tree. I think quite a few people have been waiting for this one. Actually, most of my views are on pomegranate trees, so I think this will be a good one. Now I'll show you what I do with mine, my tree and how I shape it, what I want to do with it and how I propagate it to get some free pomegranates. I usually give them away and they serve me as a backup as well just in case my tree dies so I can re replant it. I had this tree die on my tree die on me here twice already so it is good to have a backup. Now this tree has been here for six seven years now it hasn't died so I'm not sure what happened to the other ones but yeah pomegranate tree it's actually meant to be a bush I don't want mine to be a bush I shape it similar to a tree because I want everything around the tree to be nice and clear I don't want to have places for spiders and snakes or whatnot to hide so I like to have it clear around the tree it makes it easier for me to do my mowing and basically I just like the look of having a tree than a bush so some sharp secretaries and uh, I'll just remove everything that doesn't need to be there now if the branch is probably thicker than your thumb I use the saw I have a nice clean cut I don't want to squish any of the wood I forgot to mention you, you want to wait for the tree to actually go to sleep before you start any of the cutting. So just a close up, quite simple. This is one of those tall straight trees, it's rubbing onto what's already there. Now you just want to do a nice close cut. They do have some tones on them, so if you have softer hands or want to be a little bit careful, put some gloves on. They do stink. Now the big, big pieces. So. What I'm trying to do is to remove as much of the branches from the middle of the tree. I want it to have an air circulation in the middle of it, so anything that's overgrowing in the middle, it's coming out. Now this is half of the battle done. Also branches like this that are growing down, I usually take them out. I leave the ones on the top which are which are growing up and and are like on a 45 degree angle towards the top which makes the tree a little bit stronger, it can carry the fruit a bit better. So th this is an old one which is all twined up and, and there's a really nice new one 
coming up. What I will do is I'll actually cut the old one away. I'm gonna, I like the new one much better. It's, it's growing on a much nicer angle. Every so often what I do is I step back away from the tree and look at the shape and see what it looks like, what I want. So this is all that I'm going to do to my tree. There's a few bits and pieces on the floor here. I don't have to remove too much because I'm doing it every year. Now, if you have a really, really bushy tree and you want to cut it down or prune it heavily, don't take more than one third of in a year it will or may kill the tree it's more likely to kill the tree so if you want to reduce its size heavily or something do it over a couple of years and uh, it will love you for it now to the fun part how to propagate them or get more free pomegranate trees so. try not to kill your main tree when you do this if something's are way too close to it, you better leave it. Here we go. This is what you want. Some roots on there. Try to pull this one out and call it a day. Now these guys are the ones from last year that I was talking about. They're putting new leaves on. Now they're looking nice and right. Actually this one isn't. Um, so what I will do is put these into the pot, I'll trim them up a little bit. All of them probably won't survive, I will not guarantee that they will survive. I'm a home gardener. Whether this is someone thinks it's the right way or wrong way of doing it, I'm not sure. This is what works for me. Um, I have given away quite a few of these trees, so obviously it works. It's not a hundred percent success rate one or two will die but still I'm um, still good now again I didn't have don't have any potting mix I'll have to raid the thing from the greenhouse and I've got a couple of pots laying around these are from the blueberries that I bought I don't throw my pots away I just keep them and then yeah keeps it nice and so when I give give these away it's it's not costing me really any money just a little bit of potting mix which is great oh, this one looks quite nice I am not gonna chop it I'm gonna leave it as it is I usually would but I really like the look of it, so I'll leave it. Now I've damaged a bit of the root here and here, but I'm not going to worry about it now. When I put it in the pot, 
I'll put it to the same ground level where it was in the backyard. This is it, nice and easy. Now I won't be cutting any of these little twigs off because if this dies, maybe these will come good. So just uh, I won't be amending any of this soil because I'm not sure if this tree is gonna survive it or not. So keep it at that. If it survives in spring, I'll feed it and I'll give it a bigger pot. Bit of a mess. Uh, there is actually two of them and quite a bit of small ones. I'll try to clean the mess up as good as possible. I, I would like to keep some of these small ones on, but it's so messy at the moment that I think I'm better off pulling them out. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave these three and I'll actually give this one a good chance to survive. This one here has really a small tiny root. I don't know what this thing is, but when this I've chopped it off, I don't give this one much chance, but it's worth a go. I've got two more pots left and this two more of these what I'll do is I'll cut it here now this will split these this will have some root this will have some root but there's two of them here now I won't touch it if this survives I'll cut this small one off this is more pomegranate trees than what I need now if you want me to give one away to you let me know in the comments section below and uh, in spring if they are alive I'm happy to meet you somewhere and give them to you I don't need them I'm just doing them for safety for myself in case my big tree dies and of course I like to share stuff um, thank you for watching and uh, if you come this far please subscribe if you're not Hope your gardens are doing well and happy gardening.